Welcome to another episode of Weld.com. <clears throat> We're doing a series of two inch schedule 80 pipe welding videos. In the first episode, we did the root only. Uh, we did the root, made a mistake, showed how to do the repair. In this one, we're gonna do the fill and cap. So the first thing I need to do before I go from root to fill, I need to wire buff this out a little bit. I like to clean it up. I'm gonna be using an encapsulated wire wheel. This thing looks like a flat sanding disc or buffing pad, but this is actually a wire wheel. It's got some product around here so it doesn't spit wires. I've hit the camera guy with a wire every now and then. So, so the first thing I need to do is clean this up. I'll probably come out here, but I'll probably stay just in the groove because again, I'm just doing the hot pass or the fill pass on this particular run. And then we should be able to go to a cap after that. Okay, I'm ready to commence a run here for a fill pass. <clears throat> and we did the route at 105 with 330 second wire at about a 16th gap. So now I want to, I'm, I'm looking at the, what's left as far as the amount of fill. And I have chosen 135 amps and an eighth inch wire, simply because I can spend some time out here in the bevel face. What I want to avoid is suck back. Suck back is a condition where I have remelted my root and it draws back inside where it's concave or it has some concavity. Instead of reinforcement convexity on the inside of the pipe, now I have a concavity. I want to avoid that. So I'm doing it by going to a larger size wire. Again, it's a combination of how much filler wire I'm carrying up here, what I want my bead to look like when I get done. I personally just want to bring this up to the edges and leave it kind of flat so that when I put a cap in there, I get a gentle crown. Again, 135 amps, I'm on fixed amperage. So when I strike the arc, I'm putting the wire in here and manipulating the tungsten and my angle and my travel speed to get what I want. Okay. That was my fill pass run. <clears throat> so now I need to buff this off and I need to come out here and make sure that I take mill scale off or the cosmoline, whatever's on the pipe here next to the beveled edge, get everything cleaned up and we'll do our cap pass. For me, I'd like to let this cool off a little bit. I'd also like to decrease the amperage and go back to a smaller wire. I could have put the fill pass in with the 330 second, but again, I was trying to avoid running too hot of a pool, so I grabbed the bigger wire. Now I'm gonna decrease the amperage and go back to 332.70 S6. I like to cut these down when I'm doing small bore wire or small bore pipe, because it's just a little easier to control. I also, oh, they're not that bad. They just, they look like they've got a little process oil or pickling oil on them. I just take a piece of scotch Bright and I like to wipe these down three or four times. Also like to run them through my shirt and wipe them off and they seem to, a little black came off there, no big deal. They just seem to run a little smoother. Don't get pond scum on the leading edge of the pool. For this, I have switched back to a number eight cap because I want to ride this cap on my bead and I just want to gently roll it back and forth, okay? We'll talk about cup sizes here when we end this video, we'll talk about the products we use to complete this run. I heated up the leading edge of my pool. And I want to keep the wire right on the leading edge and roll back and forth across it.
fairly tight weave. This pipe is hot enough that I have my forearm against it and it is uncomfortable. And we have a finished weld. My edges are pretty well fused in. I'm fairly straight and consistent on the way up and I have a gentle amount of reinforcement on here that is above the pipe. Not the prettiest, but it'll work. Now we'll buff that off and we'll talk about how we got to this point. All right, let's go back through this a little bit. This, this particular sequence was the fill and cap. Okay, so I already had the root in the pipe. First thing I want to talk about is cups and cup sizes. Some folks will do this with a gas lens and a number 10 cup all the way out. That's fine. I just chose to do it with simple standard components. I did the root with a number five cup so I could wiggle it inside the groove. I believe I did the fill pass with a number six cup so I could again ride right on the barely, just catch the beveled edges. And then this last pass, I chose to go out to a number eight cup so I could gently ride it on the, on the weld material. And I was just gently rocking this back and forth. That's my, that's my travel. Okay, and I got a fairly tight weave. You'll see some beautiful pipe runs out on Instagram and Facebook where guys are making just an exquisite pattern. I mean, it's like pure eye candy. And I like to, on the small stuff, I like to kind of make mine small so I don't stick my tungsten out very far. And I gently ride that on there and kind of wiggle it back and forth. Again, my, my whole deal is I got to catch these edges and I've got to leave some reinforcement on the pipe. I chose to go back to a smaller wire. I did the fill pass with an eighth inch wire at 135 amps. I decreased my amperage and went back to a 332nd wire and did the cap. I didn't want to carry a whole bunch of metal on it. So that's all I did. So that concludes the two inch schedule 80 fill pass and cap, okay? Uh, they're really not hard. Again, the pipe heats up, so you got to deal with that. I was over here doing the doing the cap and I had my forearm rested over here and I was about ready to squeal because it was heating up pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of products out there. You can lay another glove up here. I went through this fast enough. I tried to let it cool off some, but not enough. Anyway, not hard, get comfortable, maintain that correct tungsten angle and filler wire. If things happen, relax, you know, they're gonna happen. I, I, I kind of taught myself pipe welding and it was frustrating. You just got to get past that level of frustration. Relax and be confident about what you're doing and practice. It'll come to you. This was a two inch schedule 80, 5G or vertical weld on this pipe. The next video is going to be the horizontal weld or 2G position. Same diameter pipe, same schedule, two inch schedule 80. Thanks for watching weld.com. Appreciate the subscriptions. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram.